When we refer to voicing in fourths, what we mean is that between each note, there's an interval of a fourth. For example, between this D and this G, there's an interval of a fourth. One, two, three, four. And between this G and this C, there's an interval of a fourth. Now what makes fourths interesting is that because of the distance between them, they fit into many different chords. For example, if this G is the bass note and we play these notes, it becomes a G sus four chord. Here's the five, the one, and the suspended fourth. Now if we play this A flat as the bass note, it becomes an E flat major seventh chord with a sharp eleventh. Here's a sharp eleventh, the major seventh, and the three. If we use this A as the bass note and keep these notes exactly the same, voice this fourth, it becomes an A minor seventh with an eleventh note. Because of their unique sound, fourths can give chords a very modern sound. Now if we play a B flat in the bass, keeping all the notes the same, it becomes a B flat 6-9 chord. If we play a C in the bass, it becomes a C chord with an added ninth and there's no three. Now I often use this as a chord stab or if I'm playing with some uh, horn parts, kind of a horn stab because in the key of C, the C is the highest note in the chord and I like the, the quality of the sound that the fourths gives me. Now if we use a D in the bass, it becomes a D seventh chord with a sus suspended fourth. If we use an E flat in the bass, it becomes an E flat sixth with a major seventh. If we use an E in the bass, it becomes E minor seventh with a sharp five. And if we use an F in the bass, it becomes an F six nine chord.